All right, guys. So I'm back out here again. I'm here with Ed. Calf's down there fishing. Uh, if you haven't watched the last video, check that out. We caught a few catfish on the other side of this lake, but we figured we'd come over here and try some uh, some more fish. And I think Ed's got a crappie. Trying to fish for crappie. Calf's running a bobber rig. But I'm gonna tie on some big swim baits and see if I can catch something with one of these guys. So I've got these spark shad here. I think these are five inch and a mega bass spark shad. And then I've got these Strike King Shad Delicious, and I think these are six inch, five and a half inch. And then I'm gonna rig one up on uh, one of these hooks here, belly weighted hook, uh, and we'll give that a shot. And I'll probably throw something out on a bobber. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but let's see if I can catch something big over here. Stay tuned, guys. So I got rigged up. We're gonna toss this guy around. Doesn't look too bad. Hooks in there all right. Probably could have rigged it a little bit better, but there we go. Uh, see what we can do. Matt from Bassman TV, I was out with him the other day and he caught a bunch with one of these, a bunch of a couple four pounders. So I figured I'd give it a shot. We'll let that kind of float to the bottom and stick around with it, I guess. Be cool to catch something, but. I don't have a lot of confidence in baits like this because I don't use them often, so we'll see. I should have seen kind of what it looked like in the water before I hooked it out there. You get finessed again? I got something already. First cast, boy. Oh, it came out of his mouth. There he goes. Get out of here, bud. Largy. Yeah, not bad. First cast. I shouldn't have horsed him. He was like three feet off the rocks. Hanging off right in the drop off. First cast. That's rad. And then I ball it up. Because that's also rad, right? I can't believe you hit that. That surprised the shit out of me. Old Bassman TV ain't wrong. Had I not been so far up on these rocks, I might have gone down there and tried to pull that guy out. But I'm not that concerned with it. He wasn't a monster by any means. What is it? Sunfish. Tiny little gill? Green sunfish. Oh, I just got hit again, dude. Put him on, you want me to throw him on my other rod? Oh, yeah. My big one? We'll send that guy out for live bait. Might as well. Two hits on this, and two casts, dude. What the hell? All right, guys, we're gonna throw this little green sunfish out. I'll leave them alive and throw them out there on the bottom. I'm gonna go through right back here, guys. There we go, guys. We'll toss this guy out. Find a spot to stick it in the rocks here so we don't lose it. That looks good. We'll just let that sit. See if I can get third cast luck here. You don't have anything down here now. Dang it, I snagged it. Damn it, don't tell me I lost it. Snagged it and lost it. I don't know what I'm gonna throw on now. Chuck this guy on there. Big lipless, I don't know what, that's supposed to be like a bluegill what but I'll probably lose it right away because we suck the hell oh was you hooked no. oh i thought that was you damn it there we go. I got it. I thought I lost it. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. Not too big, but doesn't seem bad either.
Can't even see it yet. Little, is that a flathead? That's a flathead, boys. That's my first one. Flathead off of first flathead ever. And he is dark. Yeah, crankbait. I've never caught one. I've never caught, I've seen him before. I've never seen one that dark. Dude, yeah, careful. Fucking... We'll take him over here and get some pictures. Oh, she got a crappie. Oh, you got a crappie? Well, there we go, guys. Me and Cat doubled up, and I just caught my first flathead. I can't, I've heard of it, but it's very Well, rare. from what I understand, they like moving bait, so. It was fighting weird, like I thought it was something else, you know? Well, there we go, boys. My first flathead, it's a little guy. Dude, that's beautiful fish. But it's a great, I, the colors on them are amazing. Well, check that out. It's a tiny little guy, but that is my first flathead that I've ever caught. And I know that they like moving baits or live bait. And he hit a lipless crankbait right out here in the rock. So that is really awesome, guys. It is a completely unexpected catch, but the colors on this guy are amazing. So I need to get him back in the water, get him, get him released. They are 100% catch and release here. You cannot keep a flathead out of this body of water. So we're going to throw him back in. All right, guys, let's get him back in the water. <sighs> out of here bud and there he goes all right guys first flathead on the books well and i was like it was just fighting really weird not like a bass. no it wasn't like a bass like it you know bass will fight but they usually come right in like he was actually pulling huh? some drag out no no uh crazy quady uh, I just caught my first flathead, which was really small, cool. on a lipless crank of all things. Good. Good luck, guys. Thanks. Yeah, he was right here in the rocks, man. If you ever get up to Gavin's Point, or maybe when this year, when this shit's all over, we'll go up there because the fishing's good. But if you've never been to the aquarium up there, it's really cool. They've got a big flathead in a tank, and. It likes to hang out in the tank. It'll just sit like this against the log, straight up and down. And uh, they had to even put signs in there like, no, it's not dead. It just likes to hang out that way. And that's what they do. You gonna catch anything over there, bud? <laughs> and I hit 800 subscribers today too. So today kicks ass. Snagger again. And that one's gone. All right, guys. So we're taking off out of here. Uh, we only spent about an hour or so over here. We didn't fish for very long, but we all managed to hook up with something. I hit that bass on that first cast in with that swim bait, and I tried to flip him in, and he got off. I didn't, I wasn't going to run down the rocks after him, but uh, Cap caught a few crappie. Did you get a bass over here? I just got the one crappie. Just a crappie, and then Ed caught a couple more crappie over here. He's gonna take a few of them home. I was really surprised to hook up with that flathead, guys. Uh, I know that they prefer moving baits or live baits, but I was incredibly surprised to have him hit that lipless, especially for how small he was compared to that bait. But I guess I don't really know anything about flatheads other than that they prefer live bait. So it was really, really rad to catch one. He had some amazing colors on him. And we, we fished for a while longer. I was really hoping that maybe I'd get another one to hit. But I, of course, ended up losing that lipless crank very quickly after that. So uh, that's about it, guys. I think I'm just going to close it out there. Size. <laughs> it's not how you dangle it. <laughs> it's not the size. It's how you dangle it. At least I got to tell myself that. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to close it out there. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you guys want to see more with, with Cap and Ed, make sure to let, drop a comment down below and let me know. Not Cap. Because <laughs> she's going to outfish Ed. Anyways, guys, if you thought the video was cool, give it a like. Uh, it helps me out a lot. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I would appreciate it. And I guess stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.